Uh, welcome back everyone in the previous video we have implemented a real-time cha uh, chart app using react.js with the help of scikit.io so this is the previous video that we the previous app that we have implemented let's log in first of all and to check the previous app that we have implemented we can log in as user and let's log in as ali so after login let's send a message hi i am yusuf okay for example something like this and send it so here we will save that this is the receiver area and this is the sender area the sender is just like in the whatsapp it will be at the right side and in white color and in the receiver we will have that in the left side so let's for example let's send welcome and let's press send button see here that is center and here that is um, the um, receiver area that we have received and we have images for both of them okay different images uh, so this was the functionality of last uh, uh, video in this video uh, as i mentioned that this is this is for temporary time okay whenever we refresh our browser so we will lose these messages we will not access these messages again let's for example refresh it so we lost the messages the reason is that we didn't store the messages inside a uh, database to um, store them for permanent time and uh, um, see them okay the messages but in this video what we will do we will just uh, implement a uh, database okay we'll configure database and we will store the messages inside the database to have it for all and for permanent time so for that i will use um, mongodb as uh, some comment mentioned in the previous video that use uh, mysql uh, the code is same okay we will not write uh, 100 offline code just between mysql and mongodb there is two line difference okay i will show you that difference if you are using mysql just change two line that i will uh, show you when i am coding so um, there is just okay there isn't a big difference because we are using scikit.io to implement this functionality so let's get started okay this was the previous uh, video so let's check it also okay we have implemented this is the previous video so just come here and now let's come here back to our vs code editor and in the vs code editor now we will move first of all to our server side uh before server side let's move to the mongodb okay for the mongodb and um, i have already video about mongodb if you are using locally so you can use it for local um, use the community server of mongodb if you would like to use the online tool mongodb atlas so you can use that also so i have installed mongodb at uh, compass so which is a gui tool and we can easily just um, create connection with mongodb database so by if, if you would like to create connection with this uh, mongodb okay this server so just press this um, connect button so we will create our connection with mongodb database so this is the mongodb compass which i have installed so you can use the mongodb atlas which is an online tool you can use that also and now let's move to the server side and in the server side what we will do we will create a folder um, we will name it uh, models so let's create a folder models and inside this i will create a file uh, which is a chart.js and inside this chat i will um, just implement okay i will create the model of chats okay the model so whenever you are using the mysql so you need to uh, create uh, models here so to create the models for that let's first of all um, uh, we need to install the mongos okay because we would like to use the mongos to create connection and also manage our uh, mongodb database so let's move to the terminal and we will install the um, uh, mongos uh, cd server we will move to the server directory and here we will write npmi mongos and press enter so let's close it and also let's close it so to create the model let's first of all import const mongos from yeah sorry mongos is equal to require mongos and after that let's create now our schema const chat schema is equal to new mongos dot schema and inside this schema we will define our fields the fields are like username that we will store inside the database the type of that is string we will simply write like this and, and then we have the message 
that we will store the type is string and the uh, avatar the image which is a string we will store the url of the image and timestamp which is the created date in time okay the type of this is a uh, date and the default value for this is uh, for the timestamp is date dot now so this is our schema that we have created we have these fields four fields username message avatar and timestamp now let's uh, const create model uh, like we will name it chat is equal to with mongo's dot model and we will just uh, assign a name to our um, a collection or table that is like chat or we can name it messages message comma then we will just specify the schema so we have already schema chat schema i will assign that so to this model uh, we will assign the name first of all and the schema now let let's export it we will just try it a module uh, module uh, dot exports is equal to with chat so that is okay so after creating the model uh, so let's move now to after JSX yeah, but uh, let's create a connection with the MongoDB database so to create the connection for that, uh, let's create uh, another file db.js and here I will create a function and um, just let's uh, yeah, just function or we will just name it connection and inside this um, connection function uh, to create the connection first of all we need the url okay of mongo d database okay const mongo a uri is equal to here we will have the string of connection so to copy the string of connection just come here and click these three dots and here we will copy connection string so after copying that paste that here so we will change this local host to 127.0.0.1 sometimes that local host just give us an error and after that we will use uh, let's import mongoose const mongoose is equal to require mongoose and let's write mongoose dot connect so we will use the connect function and here we will assign the uh, mongodb uri mongo uri dot thin um if we paste within um error so we will it means if we succeeded the connection was succeeded so we will just print console dot log connected dot catch uh, if there was any error so we will print that console dot log print the error so yeah after yeah let's call the connection function connection function we will just call that here and now let's uh, import db.js in app.js yeah const uh, db yeah, we can't we can we, we just want it want to import db dot slash db dot js yeah, the import will not work because we are using required so for that so to import this file for that let's write like a module dot exports is equal to with the um, connection so now we will uh, import it inside after jsx like const connection is equal to require uh, dot slash uh, db dot js now let's call this function okay connection 
so call that also let's import mongoes in uh, const mongoes is equal to a require and we will just write mongoes and here uh, we will just try it like up dot use express dot json so it will convert data to the json format and what else we need to do so server yeah we have created the connection and the connection has been created and also created the model and let's import the model inside this after jsx also so to import the model for that let's write const uh, chat is equal to require dot slash uh, model slash chat.js and now let's uh, just uh, to fetch the uh, messages from the database and also to store the messages for that uh, we uh, pre in previous video we have implemented this code okay i want connection whenever a client connect with our uh, app so this client okay this is socket it means the client which has been connected with the uh, chat app so this chat whenever um, it connect with the um, chat so it will just get the charts okay this socket that on chat it means that it will io dot emit chat so it will emit whenever it sends the messages so it will emit the charts to all clients so now here what we will do in this function we will update this okay socket dot on chat so we will update this to pitch the messages from database and send it to the all to all clients okay to the client which which connected with the real-time chat app so it means that here we will just add the code for to fetch messages from the database mongodb database so now instead of this okay we will just uh, create a function and we will load messages from database so let's clean this code and we will just write const load messages is equal to we will create an arrow function this is asynchronous function async yeah and now uh, inside this function let's create try catch blocks and this inside this um try block let's write const messages and it means that we will pitch messages from database so to pitch messages from database for that we are using uh, our um, model okay chat model this we will use that chat dot uh, find find uh, this is a function which will uh, fetch all the records it means um, we will get all the records then we will sort these um, records okay whenever we get these records so we will sort them based on time stamp yes so yeah based on time stamp uh, one so it means um, sort them ascending one means ascending okay but if we write minus one so that is descending by um, okay uh, it will be sorted by uh, descending but right now this is ascending uh, sort and then execute this function execute okay exec so it will execute uh, it this query so after executing it will uh, store all the messages inside this variable so after storing the messages inside this variable we will just write socket yeah socket dot uh, uh, emit chat messages so what does this mean okay let's first of all write the catch block also we will get an error here let's console dot log error so uh, let's call this function also control c and control v call the function so uh, whenever we create the connection whenever a uh, client create connection so based on the connection so uh, what we will do we will call this function so whenever we call this so it will fetch the records from database then we will emit it so whenever we emit it so it will goes to the front end so let's move to the front end once yeah just come here i will show to you whenever we emit socket dot emit it so it will go uh, send these messages okay to the front end come here to the src and components chat container and let's move to the use effect hook yeah here here we have okay in the use effect hook socket dot on chat okay so it will be uh, emit here so here we will get those messages and we will sit and we will store those messages inside this okay chats this chats variable 
so that is how okay we never repeat that so it will be stored inside this uh, chats variable so now let's go back to app.jsx so this was the loading okay whenever we want to load the messages now to um, whenever we insert a new message okay a client send a message how to store that message inside uh, the database so for that we will uh, create uh, let's come here um, just come here down okay in this uh, connection we will just add that socket dot on a like new message whenever it sent a new message so a synchronous function we will create a callback asynchronous function and uh, we will get that new message here message okay this is a new message which will be um, we will retrieve here okay so whenever we get the new message so we will store that inside the database so to store that let's use try catch block inside this try uh, we will just write a uh, const new message as equal to with uh, a new chat and we will pass this message to that so what we will do so whenever we send a message so it will come here and here we will get the new message and here we will create a new message from chat okay this chat model it means that we will create a new instance so after creating that now we will store that we will save that so to save that for that i will write await new message dot save so we will call save method so the new message will be saved inside the database so after saving that after that dot io dot emit so we will emit this to all clients this io dot emit means that it will be emitted to all clients but if we write socket dot on socket dot emit so it will be emitted to that client okay to the specific client to the yeah so uh, i mean that specific user so io dot emit so we will just write like um let's name it message like message okay comma and we will pass this message now let's write catch block we will get an error console dot log error so now we will update whenever we run this io dot emit so we will update our ui for all clients so to update that let's move back chat container and we will come here back to this use effect hook and here we will write socket io dot uh, on okay dot on here we had new message okay let's copy yeah instead of that message okay message we will copy this message and write it here and here we will get a new message so to update our ui for that uh, whenever we emit it okay by this emit it will call that and we will get this new message there so whenever we get new message there here so we will update our charts so to update our charts we will call set chats and we will pass previous messages previous charts these are our uh, previous charts and now we will update our let's write previous chats comma message new message so what it will do so whenever we emit so it will call this in this socket that i die on message okay so we will update our set charts messages so first of all we will get our previous messages and then we will add this new message to our array to this chats array so now let's off okay off we will off this chat that message whenever we update our ui so we will off these chat and message um socket so for that we will um simply write return socket io dot off chat and duplicate it message and also add here array dependency to this use effect hook now i think that is okay yes so what else remained the remaining thing is that whenever we just let's come here whenever we press this button okay so um we we just got these messages because i already stored this so i will just change the uh, database okay so to change the database for that let's move to the db dot connection so i will create a new database and i will name it chat so um, it will create a new uh, database okay right now we don't have chat here chat database 
so now I have created that so let's save it so it will create a new chat database and inside that it will create let's move to the model the message model okay this message is model <coughs> so I was here that uh, Let's come here back to the browser so whenever we press the send button so we will send messages to the database so for that just come here uh, we are calling okay by pressing this button whenever we press the send button we are calling this add add message uh, function so here what we will do now we will just um, apply some changes in this uh, function so let's remove these two uh, lines and also I will remove this function and instead of that simply I will just write here uh, let's write here the chat um, socket io dot uh, emit new message and pass this new message new chat to that And also instead of this I will simply write um, let's write this is username which because we have stored inside our model let's check our model let's chat okay that is username not a user so let's change this to username and after that we have message so the message is equal to with chat then we have avatar okay this is our avatar and this chart is passed from um, this user dot uh, input text okay so whenever we press this button so we will call this function and we will pass cha chat to that okay this is just a message let's remove this and also this close it and come here back yeah message is is chat avatar is from local storage and socket io dot emit new message because here we have used this new message okay so it will call this new message socket so whenever a new message comes so it will update the database and what else we need to um, just change the thing is that let's uh, come here with the input text what else not here come here to the chat container so here we will just update something um, this is just come here to the uh, chat list let's move to the chat list so, okay yeah come here to the chat list so here in the chat list this is uh, yeah uh, chat index this is chat that username username and this is also username and one thing else which was chat list where I have is yeah here this is chat that username change this to username save it mm, I think everything is okay let's try it okay let's move to the browser and let's press up all log out and let's log in login so we have logged in and let's right now press up all let's check okay our database so let's refresh it if we had the chat yeah the chat database has been added let's open it we have messages collection here in the messages we don't have any data right now so let's now uh, insert the data so here i will insert a message hi i am like uh, yusuf okay something like this send it so we didn't get okay we didn't get the um, message that has been removed back so let's check it okay where is the error receiver chat and chat container so everything is okay okay after refreshing the pages uh, after running the servers so the error has been solved okay nothing has been changed everything is okay okay the same code but uh, after refreshing the problem has been solved so now let's try it okay let's move back to our chrome browser and also let's open the second one which is incognito where is that so let's send a message okay let's hi i am yourself okay let's send it 
so i have sent this message now let's open uh, microsoft edge okay instead of this let's edge i will open micro edge let's minimize it and let's bring it here bring it here and let's open our app there also press enter so see i got the message because i already logged in on microsoft Edge. let's log out and let's insert for example um, a rip okay and let's press the login button so i got this message okay because the messages are stored inside the database and let's send a message also i'm a rip let's print this press uh, send this message so i have sent okay this uh, user username has been received received the message and it has sent the message now let's refresh it okay before when we when we were refreshing the uh, browser so we were not able to see the messages again so now let's refresh it so after refreshing again we have those two images so now let's check and the database let's open mongodb database and let's refresh it see we have those two messages i, I am yusuf hi i am Ari. we have these two images uh, messages so now let's send another message now welcome how are you thanks fine yeah we will just solve whenever we send message we will just close clean this input uh, text message also so for that to solve this problem uh, yeah I will solve that later okay so I will yeah let's come here back to user input input text message a component and whenever we press this button send message and here we will just close a message okay so the value uh, set message either target dot value value is equal to with message let's close it now and let's check it now so let's send a message change in input field and let's press send button see the input field has been cleared directly never we send messages send a message see that has been cleared but uh, one another problem that we are facing for example let's send one another message send it so here we should move directly to the last message okay we should move directly to the last message for example i have seen i am sending a message okay new one press send button but here we need and this second and the first uh, on both browser okay we should move directly to the last message to this one so for that let's use use rip hook let's come here and come here to the chat container so after coming to the chat container let's create a um, uh, use rip hook Cre create an instance of that const and up messages is equal to use rip hook yeah so the use rip has been imported here now we will use this use rip hook okay let's copy this and let's move now to the um yeah where we should move chat lists yeah down from this div element okay down from this div uh we will we should have yeah down from which one we should have an input field let's go up uh we have chart list i think add message log out chat lists so instead of this this let's uh, declare it okay let's cut it and we will move to the chat lists okay to this component so after coming here and yes so yes here let's import it let's import the user if and now let's uh, create a new element in this uh, return okay after whenever we display our messages so we will just create a new element here uh, div and rip is equal to with the, uh, this use rip variable we will assign this to this new element 
so after assigning that now let's uh, create a use effect hook just come here use effect hook so inside this use effect hook now uh, let's call a function scroll to bottom and let's create this function const scroll to bottom copy this paste it here and inside this uh, uh, scroll to bottom function uh, we will write a the the our rip okay we will use this uh, end up messages rip dot a current dot uh, scroll yes that is scroll into view into view and call this function and we will pass this property behavior behavior smooth so also um, let's make it optional and let's pass here array dependency and here we will pass chats okay we need our chats update so we will call this scroll to bottom uh, function so after calling that so in scroll to bottom function we will just use this user hook to move to the uh, last it means to the end of the messages that is scroll i think uh, into view into view save it now let's check it okay let's come here to the browser and also let's move to the edge and let's send a new message for example i am at the top and here also at the top hi good morning press see we directly come here to the last of the messages so that is how we can handle this error also uh, but here we have just the styling error that we should add some um, uh, margin to the top of these messages so we can solve this problem also because the chats are head to head with each other they are attached so we can handle that by using the css code so it was all about that to create a chat app using mongodb uh, i hope i hope forgot that uh, for the mysql user uh, i said that at the start that for the mysql user you should just change two line of code uh, for the mysql user you don't need the, first of all this um, chat okay uh, you didn't need this model because for the mysql database we are using database inside mysql and we are creating a table there and we are adding these four, part, four properties inside that table so for the mysql database we are creating just connection okay just come here to the db.js okay we are creating connection with the mysql database instead of mongodb and what else we need and the second um change is that instead of this okay find function we are using query okay we are running a query and um, select for example steric from chats uh, table okay we are running that query instead of this just this one line change and another uh, change is that instead of these two lines we are uh, just inserting a record to the mysql database okay we are writing a query insert into chats uh, and the messages that we have passed so these changes we can make in the mysql database so it was all about the chat okay second part that we have implemented so i hope you learned something from this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching